morning, Evan. Good morning, Don. How are you? Good. I'm getting ready to start a small business. How many work? How many employees do I have to have to have workers' comp? Depending on your construction, if it's non-construction, need four or more employees, full or part-time, including yourself as the owner. Okay. In order to exempt yourself. What about construction? One or more, full-time or not, even including owner. Okay. In order to exempt yourself, you have to be an LLC, though, or incorporate. I see. So where do they go if they want to do an exemption? Um, they need to go on the website. They can Google Florida Workers' Comp Exemption Filing, and they can file there. How much does it cost? Depending if you're non-construction, it um, doesn't give you a charge, but if you are construction, I believe it's a $50 charge. Hmm. And can the owner be included? Can I ask that question? No, you can if you don't exempt yourself. Once you exempt yourself, no, you are excluded from the policy. And speaking of that, I actually had a gentleman who was an electrician that was exempt, who was owner exempt on the policy. Pipe busted him in the chin, had to go to the hospital, and was not, I mean, wish he had it, so he actually came back and added him as uh, included on the workers' comp. Yes, then he'd have to go file to lift that exemption. I see. Is that hard to do? No. What else would you like to add in regards to workers' comp? Just make sure if you're required to carry it that you do because if you don't and you're working on a job site that the state of Florida can come in and, and cease your work order until you do get it and show that, that you have workers' comp on your employees. I am Don Westerfeld, a small business owner. This is Heather Vindman, commercial expert guru. Thank you for your time. <laughs>